Thank you for following segment tonight, a Factor exclusive. As you may know, former Illinois Governor Rob Blagojevich has been charged with a variety of felonies in connection with allegedly selling Barack Obama's Senate seat. Yesterday, the feds refiled some charges for legal reasons. And joining us now from Chicago is Mr. Blagojevich, who has pleaded innocent to everything. Now, Governor, I can't try this on TV. I'm not Nancy Grace. I can't do this kind of stuff. I don't know what the evidence is. We respect your plea of innocence. You didn't plead not guilty. You plead innocent. We respect that. But I do want to ask you about President Obama, Rahm Emanuel, and the Chicago guys. Uh, do they have any involvement in the case at all? Well, Bill, the, the, the most important evidence is the secretly taped conversations when the government taped my home phones for about six weeks and other telephones and there are hundreds of hours of secretly taped conversations and the great irony here is I've asked and my lawyers have filed a motion to petition the court to have all of those tapes heard uh, by either side and played in court so that the jury of my peers can actually hear what the whole truth is we've advocated and I've advocated from the very beginning that every one of those taped conversations be heard and uh, it will exonerate me uh, and it will show that what actually happened here was not the sale of a Senate seat for financial gain, but frankly, the theft of a governor twice elected by the people by government bureaucrats with fancy law degrees. Right, That's well, the heart well, of this case. All right, so there are hundreds of hours, though, of tape the government mm -hmm. has on you. And, and look, I think you're right. right. Get it out there, let the people hear it, uh, this, that, and the other thing. But I'll come back to the fact that there has been reporting that then-Senator Obama, Rahm Emanuel, a whole bunch of people, okay, had conversations with you about this seat. That's a fact. Is that true? Well, let me, let me answer that, and, and let me also let you and your listeners know, your viewers know, I'm restricted by a court I know, order. I know that. I'm not going to ask you I, uh, what right. the conversations I can't, are. I'm going to ask right. you general questions that you can't answer. Conversations yes. with then-Senator Obama and his yes or no. I spoke to President Obama the last time less than a week before I was arrested in Philadelphia when all the governors were with the president-elect and we talked about a variety of different issues. Uh, I can say from my recollection, I write in my book, how right after the election, uh, the, the first weekend after the election, I had conversations with uh, my congressman, Rahm Emanuel, about uh, a variety of issues. He gave me advice and some recommendations on a Senate seat. <clears throat> I wrote in my book uh, that emissaries purporting to be from the Obama camp uh, had offered uh, my chief of staff that they were going to raise a whole bunch of money for me around the country if I appointed a candidate that they were interested in. Um, so the, some of these things I've talked about already in my book. All right. So you're saying, <laughs> but, you're saying yes, you had conversations with uh, the president and Rahm Emanuel and some other people who purport to be uh, in their camp. Okay. Now, in your opinion, in your opinion, are those conversations with the president and Rahm Emanuel, are they damaging to those individuals? Well, uh, I mean, that's say, an easy one, Governor. Come on yeah. now. You don't have to say how. Well, are they damaging, in your opinion? Um, that's, the question is, is, was there anything illegal with no, regard no, to my the conversations question is, with any in of your answers, opinion, no. will they damage President Obama or Rahm Emanuel, when the tapes come out as you want, will it be damaging? To I, them? Yes or I, no? I, I'd love to. I would like to answer your question, yes or no. Unfortunately, there's a court order that prohibits no, me from saying not. what was on the. You don't have to say what. I'm just asking your opinion, your humble opinion. If when it yeah. stuff is played, are there going to be people go, whoa? Is it going to be damaging to the president or Rahm Emanuel or both? It's an opinion question, not a legal question. Well, I, I'll leave that to others to draw oh, their man, own you're dodging, you're dancing. I, I, let me, How can you let do me, this? Let me say, you're supposed to be a straight-up guy. You're supposed to be a... I, come on, you're dancing, you're dodging. Yes or no, in your opinion, is it damaging or not? Come on, there's nothing wrong with you're, that. You're not breaking anybody's confidence. You're not going to get in trouble. You're already in a lot of trouble. This isn't going to make it worse. There were no illegal conversations with me or Rahm Emanuel, no illegal conversations between President Obama and okay. me. There That's are, good. however, there are FBI interviews with President Obama, with Rahm Emanuel, and other people in the White House. We've asked the government to turn those, in, those interviews over well, to you us don't know, You don't know whether they're what so, they said. But let's get back to you, we what don't you know. know. Right. Okay. 
So in your opinion, <clears throat> nothing illegal was said by Emanuel or the president. Fine. Damaging in the public arena. Talk show guys grabbing it, you know, factor guys grabbing it. Yeah. Would that yeah. happen if these tapes were made public? Well, look, I can only tell you this. I know what you guys have done to me when, when snippets of conversations were We've taken out of We've been fair to you here, Governor. That's why you're on the program. Yeah. We've been fair to you. When I say you, I mean you guys in the media and how you guys in the media do certain things. I can't judge whether or not you oh, might find certain on, things. Oh, come on, you can. So are they going to be damaged? Are say? they going to be embarrassed or not, in your opinion? Yes or no? Are they going to be embarrassed if this stuff comes out? Yes or no? I think those are questions you should ask them. I think they have an understanding of what right. they said to me and the sorts of things they said. You should ask them. Okay, we appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. When we come right back. Yeah. Big Thank Culture you. Warrior segment tonight. The Pope's criticized by a member of the Obama administration. The Pope?